Hello, hello. Where's Jesus? Oh, listening to music. Okay. Uh, if you're here, leave me a comment. Happy Wednesday. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking. I believe I'm live. Okay, uh, let's see. Drop me a comment if you're here. Hi, it's Wednesday. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Floor. Okay, let me just look up. I broadcast in three locations. Um, my YouTube channel. So if in doubt, what is art journaling? How do I start? Oh. Good way to find out is join me right now. All right. Uh, also, I'm in Art Journaling for Beginners, which is my group. And also on my uh, website. Uh, so I'm going to talk about my page. Uh, I'm into this group. I recently joined because I love to journal. Well, okay, awesome. I'm going to see if I'm here. And then we'll get right started. Happy. There we go. I see it. All right. Here we go. Love the shirt. Okay. I'm going to talk about. I have a theme tonight. Can you guess what that theme is? Uh, look, my hair. All right. Hi, I'm Mindy in Texas. Welcome, everybody. My name's Tracy Weinzeffel. You're live in my studio. Um, every Wednesday, I do a free live demo starting at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do a little chit-chat, morning announcements. And um, I want you all to know, near or far, in the U.S., domestic, international, I cater to all art needs. Uh, today, it might seem like I'm a little bit red, white, and blue, because I'm a little bit red, white, and blue. Um, because our big holiday, I love July 4th. Um, I'm a former military wife. Um, I love the United States. All my kids were born here. So I'm also going away for the weekend um, to New Mexico to a very small town. And they asked me to ride a horse in the parade. <laughs> I know. Hi, Anne. Uh, do I have fireworks in my area? Yeah, we do. But we're going away to New Mexico. We do. Yeah, it's uh, California is a little hit or miss on fireworks, but yes, we do. So Tuesday is July 4th, which is America's birthday. If you're joining me for tonight's demo, I thought I would draw. Last year, we did a watercolor flag. I think I'm going to do a mixed media flag. Which boots will you be taking with you? Which boots? They're, they're, I got a few. I got a few. Um, I am going to cattle country. Uh, the population of where I'm going is 175. I'm very excited. It's my third year going. And Elizabeth goes, nice. Have you ridden a horse before? <laughs> you know they eat people's plants. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I am not an equestrian person. But last year, one of my dear friends or one of our friends uh, said, hey, would you like to ho ride a horse in the parade? And uh, th they had me ranching or ranching. They had me riding with the cowboy, the ranching cattle kids. So they were anywhere from like five to 14. And then there was 52 year old me um, being led. Anyway, so they asked me again, would I like to do it? I guess I would like to do it. You asked me to be in a parade. I'm your girl. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like you could say to me, could you hold streamers? Could you dance? Could you cheerlead? I don't do dance or cheerlead. But if you say, hey, you're going to be involved in a, a July 4th parade, I kind of have a thing. I've been in my uncle's fire truck uh, for July 4th. I've been in my cousin's police car for 4th of July. I've been on a horse for 4th of July. So pretty much on 4th of July, you can ask me to do anything 
I'm going to do it. So uh, being who I am, I thought tonight, nobody get mad at me if you're watching this in Australia. Your colors are the same. So this works out well. I thought we would do a mixed media flag. I've never done it. This could turn out horrible. We're just going to play. Um, but I thought it would be appropriate to be themed. Um, I went to, maybe it's me getting older. I went to CVS to go buy, um, I love to do nail art. I'm always doing different stuff with my nails. They look pretty bad because I've been painting. I don't ever go shopping, really. I just order, I don't know. I just, anyway, I don't really go shopping. And once I went into CVS, I was like, ooh, self-tanner, lotion, because I haven't been in the sun, um, nail polish, nail polish remover, cotton pads. I left CVS with a receipt six miles long. All I went in there for was red, white, and blue nail polish because I'm going to do a nail art on myself. And I needed red, white, and then I bought these cute stars. Anyway, um, $105. I shouldn't have gone. Anyway, I am just one of those people who just says, if you're going to ask me to be in a parade, I'm going to be all decked out. Anyway. Uh, we have no problem with your patriotism and flag. I love the idea. I love it. Thank you. Uh, so, but if you live in Australia, New Zealand, or the UK, the UK, you're going to be fine. We have the same colors. Um, CVS is expensive. I didn't know it. I just started walking and then I was like, oh, I need a hair scrunchie. All the, th I need deodorant in six different lavender flavors. I, I don't ever go shopping. And the reason being is because I walk in and I go literally haywire over red. I just should have ordered it off of Amazon, had it delivered. It would cost more on Amazon, but it wouldn't have cost me $105. I just have a problem. Oh, and some of you noticed I made earrings. That was a whole thing. I posted that I made wood earrings because I didn't have earrings that were red, white, and blue. So I made them for my girlfriend and I. People were asking, can I order? Can they be overnighted? Um, I, I, no. <laughs> but I'm going to make earrings. That was just crazy. I'm not going to paint them. That was a huge mistake. CVS will do that. You just need what you, they have. Oh, I needed everything. I got self-tanner. I'm going to be, I've got a day and a half to make myself look pretty dang good from CVS. But the receipt was eight miles long. So I was going to do my nails and have it done for this. But then I thought I'll be painting. All right. Any questions? You got to know. Everyone will want your creation. <laughs> Thank you. I never expected that. And it was so funny. I made cute little USA ones. And then you have to understand, too, where I'm going. So many have served. Um, I'm a huge proponent or supporter of our armed services. So um, there's a big joke though. Most of them were in the Milton Marine. Well, I'm a Navy girl. Anyway, so tonight, if you are in uh, other countries and you see we're doing a flag, just do me a favor. Uh, forget that this is kind of based on the flag and just do whatever. I don't care. Paint a flower. Use what technique I... Um, I share with you and then, um, you know, turn it into something for your own art. I do broadcast in three locations in art journaling for beginners, the group that I have. I also broadcast Tracy Winesaffel studios on my Facebook page and I am on YouTube, which many people are finding great success. I thought about creating in my art journal. It's supposed to be watercolor week. I don't care. I make the rules. It's going to be acrylic. We're just going to go with it. Hi, Jan. And um, I'm not creating in my art journal. I just grabbed a piece of wood that I cut out in my um, wood shop. And this piece of wood, because I know you're going to ask me, is I pulled out two. I made two. Twelve by nine. No, nine by 12. That would make more sense. So nine by 12. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to do that. All right. So this is nine by 12. And uh, again, if uh, the U.S. flag doesn't interest you, 
turned it into a flower, turned it into a whatever. We're going to just have some fun. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. Okay, that's horrible. So, and I know I switched it up. We're going to be doing mixed media. So while I'm talking, I'm going to grab some gesso. And I'm going to gesso this and prime this surface. And y'all, there we go. All right. I know I don't really do themed stuff. So I don't know who I am, <laughs> but with the real, I, I'm ready for vacation. Um, the RV is being packed as we speak. Uh, and my dog's going nuts. So I am just going to do this. Gesso. I'm just going to work on this until my heart is happy. Okay. We're going to go with a heart happy situation. <gasps> All right. Okay. Hello from Smoke Filled Skies Gal. I heard you guys. Facebook is such a pain. I finally gave up trying to get in continually. And I come here to YouTube. Okay. Thanks, Kay Horner. She just gave me a YouTube endorsement. Uh, if you're looking, just look up Tracy Wines Apple Studios. And you shall find me hot. Yeah, you guys, uh, where I'm going is going to be 90 plus degrees. I don't even own shorts, but it's all horse country. You wear Wranglers. Nobody. Wranglers and my cowboy boots. All right. So I am just going to prep this surface again. Every week I come on here. I do a free live demo. I have a membership group called Your Artful Journey. And I do have the group Art Journaling for Beginners. I obviously am very uh, keen on art journaling. I love it. And um, But today I switched it up and grabbed a piece of wood. So uh, why am I priming this with gesso? Because wood is absorbent and I don't want, I want the, um, I want the acrylics to sink right in and gesso will do that for me also the base of the flag is white the good news is i'm wearing it so um i will answer as many questions as i can please don't yell at me uh if i don't answer your question it's a free live demo you it's free it's free okay so when people start yelling at me i go oh my god and uh, my daughter just pulled in and made her move to Houston. Big tempt if, oh, golly. Okay. I, I will try to read as many of the comments as I can. But I'm just using a gesso to prime my surface. All right. Okay. It's going to be interesting to me because I've never done this. So I don't want anybody to comment and go, did you practice? No. Uh, Wednesdays are literally... Fly by the seat of my pants. Somebody asked today what was the supply list and got quite upset when I said I don't know. I don't know. But I got home and I, I figured for the $105 I spent on nail polish and other unnecessary self-tanning lotion needs. I got deodorant that, yeah. Anyway. Uh, you can do this in an art journal, so don't panic. I'm going to let this dry. I have the air conditioning going, of course. And then I grabbed something high tech. Because I was thinking tissue paper. I want some texture in this. Okay. So why tissue paper? Just because I grabbed it, it was right next to me and I thought it would do me some good. Um, anyway, let's just cut this about to length. All right. I don't know. Let's just move this. See, I know there's going to be exact people out there in my world. Please, please let that go. Okay. So we're just kind of, whoops. I'm just giving an, an approximate. All right. Tissue paper. 
Doesn't everybody use tissue paper now? Have something on their brain? All right. It's about good enough. Probably a little bit. Okay, we're gonna embed that in the background. And what do I mean by embed? We're gonna get in bed. And then, no. I'm gonna take some matte medium or decoupage. We're just winging this. I just, uh-oh. We're really, I'm not even waiting until the gesso dries and I'm gonna matte medium. Oh, I didn't even rinse off this. Uh, Lizette said, hi Tracy, I'm sorry I'm late. Lizette, please sit down. Make your way to the front of the plant. I'm kidding. You're okay. We just put gesso on a piece of wood that's about nine by 12. And um, then I'm just putting some matte medium down. And I'm going to take this. At least I hope I'm going to take this. What's in my brain? I said I've painted plenty of flags in watercolor but not all right I'm just gonna squishy this up so just squish it up all right don't for all of you who are out there right now measuring and like trying to find stuff again free demo I just happen to have tissue paper and it I don't even care if you tear the tissue paper and then like put it down and then we're just going to, woo, look at this. Woo, woo, woo. Work the air bubbles out of, it, out of it. Oh, a little bit long. So I'm going to have tissue paper. Huh. I just thought it would be cool if this wasn't perfectly done. And then I'm going to go to all of the flag police right now. Let's see, and I have extras on my hands, so just blue bit down. Blue bit, blue bit. That's glue it and blob it at the same time. Blue bit. Okay. So there we go. We have a gessoed surface. And then I'm working the air bubbles out, but I'm leaving it crinkly. And because you think of the flag as like waving in the air. Um, and so then this way, when I this turns out like crap, I just go, well, it's because... You know. <laughs> oh shoot. I have the air conditioner on, so all right. I really don't want to get paint on this shirt. So if I end up all right, there we go. How great is that? Oh, now I'm gonna have, eventually have to let all this dry because now I'm hitting it hard. All right. There we go. Blue bit up. <laughs> All right. Now, and I'm just working the air bubbles out because I'm sure there's some air bubbles in there. But, yeah. I meant to introduce, and the background is Tracy Wines Apple Studios, is Anne, who works with me. Would you still gesso if you used a journal or canvas? Yeah, because I would be using acrylic paint. The answer is yes, I would. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry or I'll take a heat gun to it. So the answer is yes, I would. I like, I poured a glass of wine. I'm gonna try and have a sip out of it. Oh, I need a heat gun. And uh, we should talk about the meaning of the flag. Oh, say. There we go. There's Anne. She, sorry, Anne. I just started to get in there um okay let's talk about the meaning of the united states flag for those of you who live in australia i'll play some hold music for you uh i had an art teacher in school 52 years ago do the exact same thing do what barbara curious um Let's all go back to school. What? Okay, we know what the 50 stripes stand for. Wait, 
really hope, I really hope somebody knows the answer. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I said 50 of them. Minus Guam. I wonder how that works. The 50 states. Yes. What, uh, so the stripes, there are 13 stripes. What was that for? Look at this. Thirteen stripes, fifty states. The stripes, yes. The thirteen original colonies. Okay, now the colors of the flat. Uh oh. Hello from the UK. Working nights feel lucky to watch live. Amanda, perfect. Yeah. So, the thirteen stripes are actually the original thirteen colonies. And I know there's, I think there's seven red stripes, I believe. Yeah, because it starts red, ends red. Seven red stripes, six white stripes. I'm doing, hold on. One, no. Um, when I do this painting, I am not using a rule, ruler. I am not using geometry, algebra, or anything. I'm literally, if I don't end up with 13 stripes, I don't want to hear about it. I'll start with red on the top, red on the bottom, but I'm not putting stripes and I'm not, or stars, I'm not going to count 50 out. This is a, an abstract flag. So if any of the flag police are represented today, um, Don't come for me. I'd have to like measure and make sure. And then there's math. And then there's like, oh, it's got to be exact. And then there's my exact people. We're not there. Okay. So I would appreciate if you are part of the flag police, you don't tell me how this is not the flag. Um, I do know, and I did some homework right before because I didn't know this. Uh, who knows, without Googling it, what the red color means. The red that was chosen, which I thought was kind of cool. I didn't know this. I'm just drying this now. So we told the flag police to leave us alone and let us just play. Oh, that's a good guess, Lori. That's not what I have. I'm checking to see if it's dry. I really put two level layers of stuff on here. I think that's a good guess. Red is the hardiness and valor. So there you go. All right. Did you get that? Hardiness and valor. All right. So I'll put this aside. We use tissue paper. Anything? Okay, what does the blue mean? What does the blue mean? Uh, oh, I had to look this one up. All right. Just got to paint some white on this. I'm just going gonna, gonna to make the base of this all white. Just white, snow white, whatever white you have. White or blue. Oh, white. Oh, so blue I'll, I'll do blue next, and then I'll do what white is. Blue, blue, blue. Okay, I'm going over this with white paint, I know. But <laughs> I want to make sure this is covered. Because that's going to be my stripes, too. So just some white paint. Blue means vigilance, perseverance, and justice. That, I had to look up the colors. I, I knew about the stripes and the stars. All right. I'm kind of liking that. I'm going to leave it wet. We're going to work in red. Now, pick your poison on red. My favorite red. Ooh, I wonder if, hold on. One, look at, I'm measuring. Measuring. One. Two, three, four. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm not going to get exactly. I'm just going to do whatever I want. I'm going to use pyrrole red. Any primary red, red will get you going, okay? Oops, I don't need that anymore. Oh, I should probably measure. Eh, I don't, I don't want to measure. I don't want, I don't want to measure anything. I'm just not going to measure. I feel like people are tuning in and they're like, what, what is this? A free bonus? And the, the, the you're quizzing us painting and flag knowledge. Thank you. You're welcome. I do have to find a better blue. I don't like the blue I picked out. It's true blue. That's what I painted my earrings in. I don't really like it. You know what I really want is like, <sighs> hold on. I mean, I only have a thousand blues. Oh, how about vivid blue? Yeah, that'll do me. Vivid blue. I almost want a deeper red. Okay. I, I timed out. I, I changed my mind. Oh, primary red. What color are you? Your primary red? I just love pyrrole red. All right, I'm going to go with pyrrole red, but I'm going to get rid of this guy. All right. Now, I don't want anybody getting upset about my color choices, but I did go with vivid blue, titanium white. I just love me a pyrrole red, but I feel like I should use like a I'm looking. No, just stay with what you want, Tracy Ann. You can mix primary red in if you want. All right, are we ready to start making this? Are we ready? I'm going to go. Now, I could box in and just say mop. I really thought the brush strokes were going to go across like this. So everything's going to be a brush stroke. I don't know how I'm going to mix the stars in there. I haven't gotten that far. Um, I do want to mark out like what I think should be the blue because then I could avoid like just painting on it. Okay. But I don't want anybody to get mad at me that this is not, I might even go bigger. Okay. Kind of have an idea. Right. All right. And I'm just sticking with the same. I'm going to paint this whole thing with this one dang brush. You ready? Oh, I never hit record. Boogity, boogity. Who's in the record department? It's okay. It's all right. All I want to do is have some fun. I'm not the only one. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> not tall enough. Okay. There we go. Uh, mm, 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 mm. See, you guys are handing me out measurements. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I know that red starts at the top. Red starts at the bottom. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'll mix the white in in between. And probably could pick out a smaller brush, but I don't feel like it. Because I said this was not going to be measured. It's not going to be measured. Now watch. I'll end up with like 15 colonies. Okay. I really have to be careful here because uh, where did I say the bottom was? I might be able to get seven stripes out of this. If I stop, if I pay attention, I could probably. Okay. Okay. There's a stripe. There's a stripe. So then there would be stripe right in the middle, right? And that would be one. I have a picture of a flag in front of me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right in the middle. You know what? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work out, but for those of you who are yelling at me, don't bother. Oh, yeah. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I can't do it. We're just going to, we're not going to have the, we're not going to have the original colonies like I anticipated. Yeah, because I just work here. Don't worry. For those of you who are panicking, saying her stripes are crooked, 
I get it. Most of my life, my stripes have been crooked. All right. I mean, I'm only using a 17 foot wide brush, of course. Now, don't worry. Just be happy. All right. Don't worry. I could probably tone down my brush a hair. Look. Big one, littler one. Brand new. Don't worry. I know there's going to be somebody who goes, I like it, but you could have, like, known how many stripes from the black. Oh, I'm just pulling back more red, see, or more white. See, I told you we can get through this. I made it through the rain. I just didn't feel like measuring anything. It's just not going to be my thing. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Uh. Oh, well. It's kind of a Jason Pollock, or what is it? Jackson Pollock version of the flag. Yeah. This is going to be one of those things that I do, and I realize, do you know that that was so easy, and I didn't have to overthink it, and I did? Okay, so I just dry that off, and then I just go, oh, yeah. And then I feel like it should be, hold on, like, oops, where's my blue? Let's shake this up. Shake it up. I got to really shake this up. Let's add our blue in. And then we'll decide where we're going to go from there. I said this was not going to be like, you know, just going to be a take. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love this blue. Anybody feeling my blue? Oh, I think that blue goes to there, though, really. Because there is a line of white below. Okay. Whoops. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm just dragging paint everywhere. Now, the whole purpose behind this is just to have fun. I always love when people go, like, I, I got so stressed. It shouldn't be stressful, okay? It shouldn't be stressful. kind of like that, though. Oh, I get it. Uh, uh, any chance you're already in a holiday made? Holiday mode? Holiday mode. Uh, not quite. I still got to work a half day tomorrow. I'm trying to get there. I wish. Now, this is where I want you to have fun. Oh, my God. I'm kind of happy. You know what? When I'm here on a Wednesday, I'm always in holiday mode. I am loving, like, the, my favorite part about this so far is the red and the blue. And now, if you don't want your colors to blend together, you just have to wait and let those dry or just layer over. Like, I kind of want this white. But I'm okay if a little bit of blue decides to sneak in here. Like, I just turn this on its angle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Brush her off. Oh. My God, what can I use for stars? Oh, I'm just gonna splatter. I am going to splatter 50 stars in there. What do you think? I don't know. Look at that. I'm just loving it. Oh. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna take a sip of wine. And don't worry, we're going to darken this up because I feel some Payne's Gray is coming out. Payne's Gray. Not carbon black, Payne's Gray. Prussian blue, that could work too, but I'm going to feel Payne's Gray. Okay, Payne's Gray. This palette is clean, by the way. I, I should move this over. Like it? Okay. Yeah, I just... Now, Payne's gray. I'm just going to mix a little bit in there. It's not really great. It's not really blue. It doesn't really know who it is. Okay, I'm just going to 
I'm going to come in here. I actually feel like this would be better if this were dry, but let's get some. Oh, yes. Oh, she's good. I kind of love it when I say I'm going to try something and not try it before I... One, two, three, four, five, six. Boogers. If I would have used this size brush, I would have had seven stripes. I'll probably repaint this, try this with seven stripes and be exact. You know what? Just swipe that. Swipe that. All right. I really wanted it to look like you are swiping back and forth. Okay. Oh. Cut that thing on it. That's really what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted it to look like. And now I'm just going to go in and deepen these colors because I still got that Payne's gray happening. Oh, oh yes. Okay, and then ah, oh, I don't know. I really just have to stand here and stare at it for a second. I, I like the weather. I like the. Hmm. Oh, if you splatter, watch out for your shirt. That's a good warning. Thank you. Oops. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to make cut kind of really okay with this. Could it be this easy? Oh, I'm not going to be happy until... <gasps> Look it! I have splatters on my shirt! Does anybody see this? Look! I have red splatters. All right. Uh, I can give you the link for the the mat, Megan, it was one of my Friday favorites. It's in the Friday. All right, let's just pause. Let's dry. And let's just take a moment to breathe. It's really going to bother me. It doesn't have seven stripes. Yeah. And I kind of need a little bit of I like that. I just like that it was feeling good. You guys know I'm going on vacation. I can art journal. I'm not going to work. I'm going to read. I'm going to do things that people do when they go on vacation and they say that they're relaxing. Um, no, I didn't splatter on my shirt. I'm saying that the shirt has splatters. And now I feel like I want splatters in blue and black or and white. We're going to splatter. No, it's fine. I haven't splattered yet. This is part of the shirt. How many times do you wear a... Do you color coordinate with your art? Now, I got a thing. I got a thing that removes stuff. Everything I own has paint on it. All right. I, I really like this. So I am going to paint the edges because they're just not painted. And I believe that this is going to hang somewhere on my wall with the original 12 colonies. One, two, three, four. I mean, the original 11 colonies that there were. <laughs> Ooh, I feel sorry for those two colonies that got, who are we gonna, who are we gonna get rid of in the 11 colonies that, I'm just going to use that Payne's Gray I have left over. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to the two colonies that we just voted off. Could have been close, though. If I would have used the right, I'm just going to do that. Because I want to. Because I'm going to. Oh, all right. It's working. I just cut this. Oh, good. No, there's people. I know people. I am going to be, I'm going to be hunted down for this one. Thanks for disrespecting the flag because you forgot a stripe. I already know. I already know. 
I just didn't think it was going to actually turn out. I didn't even think it was going to look like a flag. All right. Pretty happy about that. Why am I doing the sides? Just because I like the attention to detail. And I have this paint gray. Oh, no. Sometimes I got to take a beating. Yeah. But I love a good completed. Oh, yeah. Don't get up there. Yeah. Just wipe it off if it gets on the side. Because we're going to do something on the side anyway. Don't worry. This is just abstract. You know what? Just call me Betsy Ross, who decided not to put an extra stripe on there. Sorry, Betsy. I don't mean to disread. I'm just going to be pretty impressed if I actually like did something like this because I'm not really great. My team is always asking me to say, you know, like holiday specific. And one year I did that pumpkin because I grew pumpkins and I was like, it was not really my thing. And I ended up having a great time. So consider myself challenged. Ooh, and by the way, the longer I take doing this, the more I get out of packing the RV because that's what they're all outside doing. <laughs> all right. Don't worry if you get it on the, oh, well. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Baby wipe right here. I was going to say, don't worry if you get it on the edge because I'm going to, but I don't know. Just don't worry. Just be happy. Because I really was going to. <sighs> really like this. Now. What do you think? Are we good? <laughs> oh, good. How easy was this to paint this? Now, I'm sorry if you live somewhere that's a lot harder to paint your flag, but. I am going to splatter paint where the star should be and then we're going to decide if I'm going to splatter paint like my shirt okay it's pretty dry what do we think do we feel uh oh I keep hitting my head on my microphone oh my water is so nasty all right I have more blue paint, so I'm just going to kind of make sure that I covered all of that. Just go back and forth. She's a grand old flag. I'm pretty happy. Oh, you know what I did? I dried this all up, and then I decided to add a boat load more paint. I'm going to mix a little bit of that paint spray in there because it makes me happy. All right. And I'm going to splatter paint. I feel like that's not exactly straight. I got to stop looking at this because. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. And how am I going to block that off? Thank you, guys. I am going to seal this, by the way, tonight, right now, before. Oh, I got 15 minutes now. Um, this was my, what does the American flag mean? Look, I printed up cheat sheet. So you all could know that I, I knew the colonies. I didn't know what the colors meant. Okay. Right? Right? Okay. Uh, I need some more scrap paper to cover these. And are these? This is where I get in trouble because I end up splattering the heck out of myself. But let's just not do it. 
Let's grab a splatterific thing. Okay. And we have a, you know, little substation here. I like to water down my white paint because that helps the splattering effect. And I'm just going to do this. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to give it up. Oh, and oh, uh oh, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Oh, well, now I'm starting to be sloppy. You don't have to be as sloppy as I was. If you don't like it, you can start again and back it up. Let's just see. Let's pull it away. I don't know. Maybe it's a little too much. Like right in there, I got a little nutty. But you know what? This is why they make baby wipes. And you thought it was to wipe your baby's butt, but it's not. Okay, just blotting this up. Okay, tell me to leave this alone before I jack it all up. Now, are we going to add splatters in? I just got really, okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Stop touching it then. Okay. Okay. Stop touching it. This is what happens when I. All right. Now I'm going to grab my stamp pad, put down the baby white. Oh, by the way, my paint is probably not dry, but this is what I like about me because I don't care. And my stamp pads take a beating. This is just an archival ink stamp pad. And just go. Whoa. 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 That was close. I was almost wearing that son of a gun. Don't worry, be happy. Now I'm going to go over the edge. I think I've already gone over the edge. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm getting, okay. This was just a stamp pad that I'm, I'm swiping back and forth. Okay. Now the reason I'm swiping it back and forth very gently over the top is it's picking up the texture and I'm giving it a little bit of a vignette and you know, I'm going a little crazy. This is probably not dry. I feel like I shouldn't touch this anymore. I feel like I should stop working because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to go one I'm going to go 15 steps too far, like I'm doing right this minute. And then I'm going to be mad at myself. Done. Right? Is it done? Oh, I'm sweating. Hold on. I got to see if they're done. If they're done, um, if they're done packing up the RV, then I will be finished. But if they're not done, then I'm going to keep going. What do you think? I'm just going to move everything out of the way and wipe everything up because I got a heck of a, look at my hands. Thank God I did not do my nails before. I would have been so bummed. We're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to spray the hell. No, I think I'm going to, I didn't use anything that was, well, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to seal this bad boy right up. Do I need any more splatters? Do I, more heavy stars? Okay. All right. I, I kind of felt the same way too. More heavy stars. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting because now I have no way to hold this stuff down because my okay. Here we go. My air conditioner just popped on. They're still packing the RV, so I I want to avoid them at all costs. Did you ever do that as a kid? When your mom and dad were like doing something and you'd be like, I just gotta pretend like I'm sleeping until they're done. <laughs> I can still do it. Okay, now I can't get a blob out if I try. Blob me. Okay, there we go. Done. It, I, I'll take this one, two step. Now, I am going to do a quick seal on this young boy. What do you think? I kind of like it. I kind of really like this. I'm just going to go even. Okay. Just go right through that white paint with a stamp pad. That's what they recommend. I know a lot of you keep your art supplies incredibly clean. Uh, I try to, but it's not like my main goal. My goal is to use my art supplies and 
I'm just going to seal this real quick, but I like to uh, clean up my surface. Oh, oh, no, do not get paint on you. All right, I'm just going to wipe this up real quick so that I can. I love your flag. I love your flag, Sandy. Okay. okay. I'm just crazy about wiping up my surface as I go along, so just excuse me for this. Boo to do to do to do. Boo to do to do. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. I uh, just got to make sure everything is dry. That would be the most important thing. It says dry your white splatter. I'm doing it. What about blue splatters coming from the blue corner? Uh, you know what? Just digging on these splatters right here. I'm gonna leave it. You know why I'm gonna leave it? So I have this tendency to take this crap one step too far. I'm gonna leave it. Probably gonna paint the whole thing black on the back. Just I actually really like this. Now normally I would not seal this right now. sip because it really needs to cure and dry but I kind of feel like it so I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna take my since my hands are jacked anyway I'm just gonna take my hand in the stamp pan okay stop touching it I'm gonna grab some sealer what am I gonna grab what do I have in here I have satin I have high gloss and I have matte. I'm gonna, just going to go satin. Should I? I'm going to do satin. I'm going to do satin. All right. Are you pretty dry? Yeah, you're pretty dry. Yeah, pretty dry. <laughs> Relatively soft brush. I'm not even going to, you know. Oh, I should shake this. And I just went over this right here where I don't like it. So put a fingerprint on it. I don't want the fingerprint on it. But the good news is, is I can go forward and I can go back. And I can go forward and I can go back. Ah, I am the queen of my destiny. All right. Build a life you want to live in. That's what I just told my son today. Build the life you want to live in. And this right here is what I want to live in. This turned out almost what was in my brain. Do you see why I wanted the texture? This would have been kind of boring flat. All right. Are you all dry? You're so all dry. Here we go. I'm just going to. A nice thin even layer. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna paint the back black. Like a chocolate, you know. And then I could seal the back and she gonna be good. Now, what do you think? You guys, I'm just swiping this off. Okay. Oh, something's running right there, but I don't care. Shh, a little bit wet. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Uh, just getting these edges because, okay, this is going to totally, <laughs> my hands are going to be stuck together. All right. I will answer said question. I, I finished the flag in about a half an hour. So for those of you who say, I don't have the time to do art. Well, I don't know what you're doing with your time because we just did that in half an hour. Pretty damn cool. All right, what did you think? Oh, name this painting. Yes, <laughs> name this painting. Uh, this does go on my blog and it goes on my YouTube and it goes, uh, 
there's replays available. I do list my materials. So for those of you who are going, what did you use to seal that? I don't know if that was a question. Um, look, I have these little handy dandy little things that are just going to sit there. Okay. And lifts it off the work surface. Yeah. And don't you dare say, we're going to name it the six, uh, the red six, the 11 colonies. We're not calling it the 11 colonies. I am not going to make freedom. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right. I got to open up this. Ooh, looks like they're interpretation of old glory. All right. So home of the free. I like that one. I like that. And I, like I said, most 99.999% of the demos that I do um, are um, not, uh, what do you call it? Like, you know, USA, red, white, and blue. Just so you know. I just felt like this. And it was in the mood I was in. And I'm glad I did it. <sighs> Anybody want to see it done and in the sunlight? Oh, it's kind of wet still, but I feel like this could have been bigger. Maybe splattered. Maybe that splattered. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cut my own artwork down. I am just going to be really happy with the fact that that was floating around in my brain. I did it in water color last year and it was so fun was anybody here last year when we did the flag and watercolor i just had so much fun doing it that i thought it would be fun to do it again also i would encourage you even though you haven't painted something before i have never painted a flag in acrylic paints um please oh oh i don't think i ever turned i never turned my time lapse on this would have been a fun one to see done Oh, well, never did. Um, oh, good. I was here last year. Yes. If you were there last year, I did it in watercolors. And I just happen to be big. I love, I love my country. Uh, I did the one last year and have it out on display. I did the watercolor one last year. Perfect. Joyce did it. Alice did it. Jean did it. Kelly did it. Um, Perfect. Well, this year you have a mixed media one. Is watercolor easier for a beginner? Um, I would say Marilyn. Uh, I find that I'm able to teach equally in watercolor or acrylics. And I bet if you looked back in my YouTube last year around July 4th, you'll find the watercolor one. Uh, I don't know if anybody could add that. If you're a member of Your Artful Journey, Marilyn, um, I have a membership group, Your Artful Journey, where we deep dive and we break things out and we do lessons every single month. Um, also drawing bonus practice. That's where I really do teach. I consider Wednesdays more of a demo where I just fly through things, but I do try to give you... Um, I just want everybody to do something creative every day. So if it seems like I'm zipping through things, I had somebody last week said, I would appreciate it if you would take it more step by step. I'm like, well, I like my demos to be 45 minutes or less, and I like them to be fun. And it's very hard sometimes when you have to build in paint drying time. So... That was kind of a long-winded answer. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go paint my nails red, white, and blue. And I'm going to take this shirt off that I probably did splatter on, but it was so worth it. I would love for uh, thank you. Perfect. I will join when your group has openings. Love the demo. Inspired me. Um, Marilyn, if you want to know, I'm going to put an email address up. And you can email support at yourartfuljourney.com. And we can get you some help as well. Okay. Do not forget 
Every Wednesday, I am live at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in your Artful Journey on Facebook, on my Facebook page, and on YouTube. Next Wednesday, I will not be live. Uh, I, will, I will be alive, uh, God willing. Uh, he has a plan, um, and it's much greater than me. And I would like him, I'd like to thank him for this uh, thing I get to share with you. Uh, but next Wednesday, I'll be traveling home. So I will miss next Wednesday, which means I will miss you all. So next week, I hope you guys will just go back in old, old videos, go on my blog, look on my YouTube channel, and find something that inspires you and share it with me. Hitomi, thank you. Have a wonderful, safe 4th of July for those of you who are in the United States. For those of you who are in your artful journey, your new content drops on July 1st. I will see your Artful Journey members on July 17th and July 21st. And this girl is in vacay mode. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for allowing me to do what I love to do so much. Talk to you all soon. And have uh, stay tuned on my Facebook page. I'll be sharing photos from my trip. I'll talk to you all soon.